Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So if today is your first time here, my name is Esther Modella and if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. So whenever I upload video, you will be the first to be notified. Today, I'm actually going to be reacting to the comments I got from my video. Last, like the last video I did about the 40 years old girl that was killed in Modena, Italy. I got a lot of hate comments. I got a lot of nasty comments that I didn't expect, honestly. People that actually came for me, <laughs> ladies, like girls, even married women, they came for me as if I'm their problem. I don't know. People are saying I'm judging the girl that, that died. This one is saying this one, that one, that one, that one. The other one is saying another thing. The other one is saying this one. People, like, people are just bringing different issues, like things that are not even relevant, dropping it on the comment section for me. First of all, one thing about me, if I see the truth, even if it hurts, I will say it. Because it's better for you to insult me for my truth than for you to clap your hand for me for telling lies. If I say the truth, I will die. If I lie, I will die. So what is not the need to be lying? At least speak the truth. Tell the world the truth. It's better you hurt someone with the truth than comfort the person with lies. So, that video I did, I actually said my mind. I poured out half of my mind. I didn't even say everything. Maybe if I have said everything, you people would just come to my house and beat me. Honestly. So, what about that video? I think some people are misunderstanding the video because it was as if I missed the video. So, the things I said there were not actually for the girl alone. I said different things, but not actually for the girl alone. I actually talked about some girls, like our Nigerian girls here in Italy, especially Italy. Like the kind of life they live, the kind of work they are doing, even when people advise them to get them job, they will be like, no, I don't want to work because I cannot wait for a full month to collect salary. I need everyday payment. Now tell me, which work in Italy will pay you every day apart from prostitution? Tell me. So this is the reason why people do not want to work, like our Nigerian girls, they don't want to work. So you telling them the truth, like coming in front of camera to tell them the truth, they'll be like, let them just cut your throat. I don't care. Those ladies that actually came for me, those girls that actually came for me, you probably are not even ashamed of yourself to come to my comment session. Like letting the world know that prostitution is your profession. You, didn't, you were not even ashamed. You didn't even think about that one, Nabi. Okay. One woman, married woman, actually came for me too. After writing and writing and writing, she now concludes. Her name is uh, Moses, lovely or lovely Moses, something like this. So, she concluded that she was once involved in, uh, I think, you were trafficking or something, I don't know. So she actually did the prostitution work before she got a job and before she got married, now she is married. So tell me, someone that is married, you are coming for someone that is saying the truth about like talking about prostitution. So you are married, you, you, ha you are in your husband's house and you once did prostitution. So. You cannot use your own experience to advise others. And this lady, you cannot tell people, okay, this work is not good. Staying in the road all alone in the night, walking with your body to collect money, express road or in the bush or whatever. There is a lot of risk in it. Risking your life, like so many things involve. Someone can kill you, 
Or maybe you can involve in a fight with your customer just like that our late sister. Or sickness. There are a lot of sick people out there. So because of money, they will entice you with money. Then you will sell yourself because of money. At the end, what is your gain? So people should actually think about all these things. Like that woman that actually came from me. You are married now and you were once a prostitute. And now, thank God for you, you got a job and you got married. You cannot advise people to, to stop prostitution. You cannot use your past life to know that you're supposed to tell the other ones out there that that is not a good life. Doing that kind of job is very risky. There are a lot of things attached to it. Nobody is saying don't look for money. There are other ways to look for money. There are other jobs in Italy, like some job that they can be paying you twice in a month, maybe two weeks, every two weeks. There are some kind of job that pay like that. Or every month, like some of our girls, they don't want to do that kind of job. They don't want to be collecting Maybe five euro one hour, or four uh, four euro one hour, or cleaning work ten euro one hour. Maybe if at the end of the day two hours. They don't want to be collecting that kind of money. They need quick money. The only problem that our Nigeria girls have is competition. Okay, now tell me after hustling with your your body to collect money. Now tell me what do you do with the money? If you go to Facebook, Instagram, you will see all these slay guests, slay queens, all these uh, small guests with big God. After using their body to collect money, they will go and be buying clothes, buying shoes, buying hair, buying bag, slaying on Facebook, slaying on Instagram, doing competition with others. Is that the kind of life you want to be living? Don't you think those are waste of like waste of time, waste of energy, waste of resources in fact. You selling your body for money, you spend this unnecessarily. What was not the gain? What was not the need for you to work after a month, collect your salary? If you want to be building your house, a month, that's your salary. Even if they are paying you 1200 Remove your house rent. Remove like, do your estimates. You will still get some change from, from that money. Even if it's block you want to, you want to move, or it's cement you want to buy, you will still get out of that money every month. Do it like that. You will even build two houses before you know it. Now, tell me, you working with your body every day, Collecting money, spending it unnecessarily. How will you build that house that you want to build? How? Some of them, they will even go and work and give it to their boyfriends. Most of you understand what I'm trying to say. Some girls are foolish, while some are wise. This is just the truth. I know some people that are out there doing that kind of work, road work. They don't do it intentionally. So this is also true. Some people don't do it intentionally. Especially when some people have madame that they are paying. That one is real. You have to go and walk and pay back. So that one is real. But what I'm saying is, things is no longer the same. Not the way it used to be. Like some years back, things have changed. So, people that are still going to road to look for money, what are they looking for? This is my point. Some people, they have house in Nigeria, but they still go to the road to look for money. Okay, now tell me, this kind of people, what are they looking for? Is it that the work is inside their blood or something? Or there is something that is promoting them. What I hate about some people, they don't like to hear the truth. They, uh, they want you to see the truth, you cover it, you will not say the back. That's what some people want. It will hurt them 
when you tell them the truth so that's very wrong if someone tell you the truth you are supposed to sit down and think about your life now to come and be writing this writing that you too you are a prostitute this one that one do you even have sense someone is telling you the truth like someone is giving you advice you are there writing rubbish use your head though use your head time wait for nobody eh? time wait for nobody wasting your life destroying yourself is not the way eh? you can walk 10 years like that woman said that if some people she knows some people that are walking on the road 15 years more than 15 years can you imagine that, that person that is walking 15 years what have that person achieved what have the person gained Working 15 years. I also saw some comments. People are saying, hey, all guests in Europe are prostitutes. Stop deceiving. Can you imagine? They've tagged Nigeria girls prostitute. You see? Because of the kind of life some people are living here. Some of them, after living that stupid and useless life, to get husband will be problem. So that my sister that said, she she is married now she's working you are very lucky you because some people after they've wasted their life they will end up with maybe they'll just get pregnant run to germany this is the reason why we have a lot of single mother in germany in france because after you waste your life you you don't you don't know what to do again no man wants to accept you sometimes i'll be in the train or in the bus some boys they will be Talking to each other, saying, No, me, I don't feel married for you, or Europe, no, Europe girls, no, 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 I don't feel married. Now, then they do a shower, now they see the phone, I don't feel married, now village, I don't feel married. You can imagine, because that's the mentality they have. They think all girls are the same. They think all girls are the prostitutes, because if you, if you are passing the, the streets of Italy, guys, you will be ashamed of yourself. Like seeing girls, like a lot of girls on the streets with umbrella, as if they are selling recharge card, as if they are, like they, they are going out. Sometimes in the bush, like along the bush, a very risky place. Sometimes in the express. Okay, now let me tell you, risking your life for chicken change. You are risking your life. What if? Salvini, the Italian Prime Minister, decides today that he wants to clean Italy and send those girls in the streets back to their country. And you happen to be one of them. And they send you back to Nigeria. Well, maybe you don't have any achievement in Nigeria. You don't have money in your account. You don't have house. You don't have anything. For example, how do you start? Where do you start from? Do you think your people in Nigeria, they will assist you? They will only laugh at you. They will tell you, after many years where you don't stay for abroad, what do you see? What do you gain? Which achievements you get? Even if you are begging them for money, they will ask you, how much you give me that time where you did abroad? Stuff like this. So now, after the stress that you undergo to come to Europe, to come to Italy, you want to waste it. You want to suffer for nothing. Some girls in Europe, they don't have sense. After all the suffer, some of them, they, like, they forgot their brain in the sea. Because what they are doing here, you'll be asking yourself, are you the same human being? You'll be asking yourself, like the kind of life some girls are living. Some girls, after getting the money from streets, they will take those money to club and waste it. Go to Facebook every week. You must see these are Nigerian girls going to club, club, club. After getting the money, no, it's not even easy for them to get the money. Like it's another kind of suffer. They are also suffering because sometimes in the night or even if it's in the day, say cold, sun, then. You will get the money, then buy clothes and go to club and waste the money. These kind of people are they normal. So you are coming for me in my inbox to insult me and tell me I'm judging the dead. I'm not judging the dead. 
I'm sending message to those of you that are still in the streets. Prostitution is not a job. Get a life. Prostitution is not a job. Look for something doing before it's too late. There is a video I watched on, on Facebook. Two girls in Napoli, they were fighting. Ask me the reason why they were fighting. They were fighting because of road work. This one say, Nami fed they stay here before you come. The other one say, yeah, Nami is nonsense. They were fighting and people were recording them. The video is everywhere. So now tell me, those girls now, which kind of life are they living? Just tell me, what kind of life? So people saying prostitute, this one, that one, like he's touching you, he's doing you like this. You want to come and fight Esther in Ashani. You want to come and do this. My sister, who love you? Now I will tell you, say, you're mad this man. I might not know you in person, but I know some of you are watching this video. If you get any opportunity to get job, please grab it. Because one, if you are working in Italy, you have a lot of benefits. You have a whole lot of benefits. One, they will give you contracts, working contracts. Two, you have your booster paga. Like maybe you want to rent apartments or you want to do anything, they will ask you for your booster paga. Or there are some other things you want to do. Those things, they are very, very important. This contract and booster paga can also help you to boost your document. So there are a lot of things, a lot of benefit that you can get when you are working in Italy. So, my darlings, if you are working in the streets, if you are doing road work, stop it. Time wait for nobody. These old women that are still going to the streets, some people have three children, yet they will abandon their children and still go outside and be looking for money, hustling with their body. Later, they will be shouting, Italy, collect my picking, Germany, collect my picking, this one, collect my picking. What were you doing before they collect your children? What was your crime? I've seen cases like, this woman have a child. She left her child at home with her neighbor. Her baby was sleeping in the room. Like, I don't know, they were in camp, something like that, they are in camp. The baby was sleeping in the room and she told her neighbor to help her to check after the child. The neighbor, she forgot and she slept off. The baby fell. <laughs> and this woman, she went to a club. When they collect the baby, she was crying. They collect my baby. Where you go? You go club. Leave baby for house. So you see the life some people are living. If someone is telling you to leave prostitution, does not mean that the person wants to fight you or the person is for me. Nobody is for me, my dear. Nobody is for me. If you see truth, talk around. That's why if I see YouTubers, that they will see the truth. They will want to cover it and paint it. I don't know. I will just shake my head. Because I don't know what to say and I cannot even come here. I don't know what to write. I will just shake my head because it's not right. If you see truth, talk calm. If you hurt the person, it better mean you hurt them or it change than you tell a lie. Pretend tell a lie. We know see that is not the way. So guys, those of you that came for me, I'm not trying to fight anybody or quarrel anybody or judge anybody. I just said my mind, half of my mind. Like, that work is not good. It's not a life. It will only destroy your future. It will only destroy your life. It will give you bad name. Anybody will know you know that work now. You don't, you don't dare for record saying that girl. See that work now. See so 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 work where they do. So, so work. If you, if you want to get married, they will tell the man that, see, that girl fed the work for Rodo. Stuff like this. So, guys, I really did not just plan for a long video. So, guys, I have to end it here. 
So my sisters out there, I'm not fighting with anybody. I'm not trying to be perfect. Like someone asked me or two people asked me, are you perfect? I'm not perfect. But the truth needs to be told. I'm not perfect and I'm not trying to say I'm the most innocent person on earth or I'm holy holy. No, but I'm just passing my little message to those who have ears. So let them hear. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you all.